we are live hey everybody hope you guys can see me i'm about to hit the share button It feels like 7 p.m. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in. Um, hit the share button. I'm about to get us some smoke. Ah, got my good old H2O. How's everyone doing? Hey, Ma. Hey, Talia. Hey, Chastity. Hey, Frederick. I'm just going to sit this right here. We can get some smoke. It is October 31st. It is Halloween. Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. It's a holiday that um, has many stories behind it some say the dentist made it up to give little kids candy so their teeth can get right and so they can get business some say it's the devil's holiday um hey james some say it is um a holiday where the dead get to walk around that's why the kids dress up in uh, monster costumes like you know dead or monsters they get to just be free for a day so whatever you believe, whatever you think, happy Halloween. It's cold and rainy here and snowy. So make sure them kids bundle up <laughs> while they out getting their candy and having fun. Hey, Don. Hey, Kim. So, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I just know we used to get a lot of candy. <laughs> hey, Dolly. When we were kids. So, yes, I went with two. So, let me introduce myself so I can get into it, okay? And I can tell y'all why. So, hey, y'all, hey, welcome, 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 and welcome back to those who come and rock with me every week. My name is Kiana Thompson, and I am the owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And every week, I do pick a card, where we ask the universe a question and then we see what spiritual intuitive message we get back with the cards. So this week we had a full blown tie. I thought it was going to be broke. Last week we had a tie too, but somebody came at the very last minute and broke the tie. This week I had to be the tiebreaker. So I didn't like having to be the tiebreaker, <laughs> but I did it. And the way I swing the vote 
was because two is the one that I probably will use next week. Because I always just like whatever is not picked, I just use the one. I just recycle them. So it's not one that I will actually recycle next week because Mercury Retrograde, I mean, it starts today. Cosmic News is ready and it is the um, New Moon in Scorpio plus the Mercury Retrograde um, in Scorpio. So I put them both together because it's Scorpio season and just why not, okay? Everything is popping in Scorpio right now. So that's ready and the link is at the top. So I'm not going to recycle that one. So I'm like, you know what? That's the way I'm going to swing the vote. So we are doing what does Mercury Retrograde have in store for me for these next three weeks or so. Hey, Karen. So I'm about to um get started. I want to use stress away today because this weather is stressing me out. It's too cold. Hey, Z. Hey, Debbie. It's too cold, y'all. But on a lighter note, it's almost my birthday. <gasps> that makes me happy. It's almost my freaking birthday. So what I got a week next, uh, less than a week next, uh, Wednesday is my birthday. Yay! <sighs> Everybody breathe with me. So the way this goes for pick a card, you pick your number one, two, or three, post it inside of the comments, whichever one you think will resonate with you, whether you like the way the cards fall, whether you just like the number, it does not matter. I flip the cards over and then I read each message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general read, so it might not resonate with everybody, okay? However, you can get a personal read. The link is at the top if you want a personal read that's just for you, where we make the cards, um, you know, focus on you. Hey, Dory. So breathe with me. Send me lots of love and like. Positive vibes only, always, 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 always. Positive vibes only. Like I said, we're using Stress Away. Oil is such a beautiful, soft, calm, and relaxing scent. So it's weather stressing me out. It's cold here in Chicago. Make sure you hit the share button. Sharing is caring, okay? Thank you guys so much. All right. So I'm using um, Animal Tarot Earth Magic, Magical Kingdom, and Energy Oracle. I think. I don't know. I was just like, these feel good today. Allie, hey. I was just like, these feel good. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Absolute. Every, all things that you do, all messages that you bring, we ask that you get some spiritual and soul message on the highest altitude of love, prosperity, and peace. What does this Mercury Retrograde have in store for us? What does this Mercury... Hey, Sasha! What does this Mercury Retrograde have in store for us? So, this Mercury Retrograde is going to be very interesting because it is in Scorpio. But, okay. Y'all give the messages to be popping. Um, it is a Scorpio, and Scorpio is all deep and sultry. So it's gonna be a very romantic time and a very um hey Kenyana. It's gonna be a very um although Mercury Retrograde is about miscommunication, this is gonna be a time we're gonna be able to really get clarity about some stuff, really go deep inside of your communication. So if there are some spaces that you need to be talking about, um, things could be coming up that you don't want to come up and talk about, but it's time. You can't hide. Scorpios don't let you hide. So there's gonna be a lot of communication going on that's gonna be clearing some things up. So, you know, don't worry. 
Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. So there'll be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And it's still gonna be miscommunication. <laughs> it's Mercury. It's Mercury retrograde. <laughs> That's not gonna change. But I talk it all about it in the cosmic news. Um hey boo. I talk it all about it in the cosmic news. So this week's cosmic news isn't the regular seven, it's 14 because it's two videos. It's the full, I mean the new moon in Scorpio and Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. So if you want to know how to navigate um, those energies, then it's there. It's there. The link is at the top. It's the 31st. How cool is that to do a card reading on the 31st? I was so happy that this Thursday fell on the 31st. What does Mercury Retrograde have in store for us? What does Mercury I took it. Some told me to take it. A lot of cards fell out. You know how I am. I will put a card back. Hey, Lynn. But it told me to take it, so I took it. You don't want to talk about old stuff. Well, you didn't clear it up. If you didn't clear it up, it's coming back around. That's what that retrograde is all about. Old, old unfinished stuff. Not just old stuff. If you finished it, it won't come back around. If you left it open, it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, I want the word to know. Got to let it show. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Marquita. Make sure you pick your numbers, one, two, or three. All decks are laid. One, two, and three. Yay! On Halloween. Happy Halloween. First day in Mercury. And it's going to basically be Mercury retrograde the whole Scorpio um, season. So it'll be from now to the end of no uh, Scorpio season, like November 20th to the end. The last day is actually the 21st. For Scorpio. So I know they just hurt some people feeling because people who are born on the 22nd and the 23rd still want to claim Scorpio. But Scorpio officially ends on the 21st. So if you're born on the 22nd, you are Sagittarius. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, y'all got y'all numbers. Y'all ready to rock and roll? Let me get my cocktail. It's just water, but. Let's lay out these cards. I felt all Vanna Whitish right there. Did y'all see that? <laughs> too much. Too much. Too much sauce. Okay, Juan, well, what you got cooking? Oh, I like it. It's very, um... Two is very feminine and very soft. Very loving. I mean, one, not two. One. Let 
So Mercury is gonna uh, Mercury. Um, I feel like it's gonna sit you still. I feel like if you have been very busy or you're naturally busy, um, you. Okay, Tiffany. You could feel stuck. I see I just uh paused. Why won't they let me be great? Okay. So when if you are normally busy or working and doing and moving around, you could feel like you're stuck. You could be feeling like you're not moving forward, or you could be feeling like you are trapped. Okay, I think anything is not it's not um Sorry, it's like I'm pausing. I'm trying to make sure it's not pausing. Okay. So, you could be feeling stuck. You could be feeling, uh, like, in your head. Even though... Even though... It's mental. It's mental energy. You can move that energy around. You don't have to be stuck. But I feel like you need to be stuck for a minute. I feel like it's time for you to slow down. It's time for you to um, do some forgiveness work. Do some healing. Do some nurturing of yourself. Taking care of yourself. Because the space that you're in... Or that you're gonna feel like if you you could I, you probably already you're probably already feeling like you're stuck can't move can't move forward can't do certain things. Um, if this is how you're feeling, it's gonna be time for you to do some forgiveness work, forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for others. Um, just really that compassion fill your world, being more compassionate to yourself, um, offering kindness out so that way you can receive it in as well so that you can get out of your head and know that hey diana hey tam so that you can know that you are the most important person in your universe and you're not stuck you could literally fly away if you wanted to um it's just up to you like you really could you could you could do something different you don't have to be stuck it's a mental, it's not physical. It's not like you physically can't move. It's a mentality, it's a mindset of being stuck. But at the same time, I feel like Mercury Retrograde is gonna bring a lot of things around to um, help you work on that, to help you work on getting unstuck. So it might bring you around people you need to forgive, situations you need to forgive, you know, you know yourself, of course. Um, but it's going to bring things around. It's going to allow you to have more compassion. It's going to give you more time to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself, to be, um, hey, Sora, to be more loving and more gentle and have a real ebb of balance, of um, flow. You know, your feminine and masculine energy will be, be more balanced because if you are just doing 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 you need to learn how to be so you got to kind of be still for a minute and kind of um tap into your feminine energy and be gentle and be kind and be compassionate and, and um know that what you give you also receive so if you're giving out harshness that's what you're going to get back if you're giving out um impatience that's what you're going to get back so you want to hey eva so you want to um Get more balance. It's not just, you know, just doing. You want to be. You want to be still. You want to be kind. You want to be compassionate. You want to balance out your energies. And that's what Mercury Retrograde is going to be doing for you. It's going to be balancing out these energies. So you can get out of this stuck trap you'd have made in your head. Um, so that you can forgive yourself and be more compassionate and be more nurturing towards yourself at this time. It's time for you to be more nurturing and loving, okay, towards yourself. So you can get out this trap because the trap is made up. What you give, you receive. So the more positivity you give, the more positivity you get back. So get out your head one. That's what Mercury is going to be bringing to you. A space of balance. All right, so... 
Oh. <laughs> Two pentacles. Pentacles? Pentacles. <clears throat> Give me some money, too. Hey. Give me some money. Give me some money. You're welcome. So... <laughs> so everyone who picked two, you gotta give me money. So Mercury retrograde is gonna bring you focus. Nice. Whereas one is gonna bring more of you know um a resting period. I feel like for you two, it's gonna bring you more of a focus. Like it's time for you to get in that project, unfinished project, unfinished business unfinished um work related stuff something that's unfinished i don't know i'm just getting that but it's going to bring you focus so it's going to you're going to be honing in on something you need to take care of and while you're focusing on that if at any time it brings you stress right or you know i don't want to do this no more then you just need to breathe you need to go out in nature and breathe so you might need to take some walks you may need to just, you know, um, sit outside for a minute, get in nature and just come back to yourself so you can keep the focus because um, your self-confidence and your self-worth is going to be so important for this project, whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you like, right? But you know what you're doing. You know what you got cooking. You got stuff cooking and your self-confidence is going to have to stay on point. At this point, you have to stay focused. So if you need to get you some fresh air, go ahead and get you some fresh air. Know that you got this. Keep telling yourself, like, I got this. I got this. I can do this, okay? It could be a long time coming, this project. But if you stick with it, it's going to pay off. It's going to be like a big windfall. You're going to get, like, a big some big money. Yay! It could be, <laughs> it could be um, you know, just like a big check. Just like some type of payment. Um And it's like a, it's like a new beginning with this payment, too. So it's not just like you're going to... It's like it's going to take you like next level in your business, right? When you finish this project or or your, your job or whatever, when you finish this project, it's going to be such a morale boost and a financial boost. It's going to be awesome and great. So you're going to have to stay focused. You have to remember to breathe through this process getting it done and getting it finished when people are just seeing you know your nerve or it's like you're just never gonna get done you have to go out in nature and just walk around um so you can remember who you are and where you want to be because that's gonna be so important to help you keep your focus you know um really getting out there and really remembering your self-worth and your self-confidence and your self-esteem and tapping into all of that because the payout is going to be so great when you're finished it's going to be so great so um I think about the end of Mercury retrograde, you guys are going to be getting a big payout and give me some money, okay? Okay. <laughs> you guys be great. Keep the focus. Don't get knocked off with square. You got this. Whatever this is that you are working on, you got this. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Say that too while you outside. And watch what happened. Okay. Threes. A lot of cards fell out. And I just took them all. Like forget it. Like it's Halloween. You got to take all the cards. Hey Jaquay. Hey CJ. Hey Ashley. Hey Janelle. Hey Deb. Okay. Oh, Lord, three. Va, va, voom, va, va, voom. Hey, been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I don't know and I don't know why. Why he's going away and I keep something, something, something. My baby, but I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him. So you already know <laughs> what Mercury finna bring you back, boo. Yes, three. I know three like, oh, I don't want him to come back. He coming. He coming. Or she coming. 
However it go, I don't know your life. But they coming back, child. <sighs> Got to set my cocktail for this good stuff. I feel like you've been waiting, though. I feel like you know that this person is coming. I feel like you've been waiting for this person. I know you're like, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. You've been waiting for this person to come back. It's like the one who got away. This person, like maybe this is a good person. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes we have exes and we just be like, oh my God, they the worst, right? But sometimes we have exes and we be like, damn. He or she was the bomb. Like we just, maybe timing was off or, um... You know, y'all were young or whatever. You know, some people just do dumb stuff. It'll make you a bad person because you do dumb things. So maybe, you know, one of you did something that you just wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. You just was doing dumb stuff. So you was like, man, he the bomb. I kind of like him. I kind of want us to work it out. I feel like you was waiting. I feel like you was waiting for this. So here it is. Here it is. He coming. So I feel like it's going to be a reconciliation. I feel like you've been waiting for this reconciliation because whoever this person is, um, oh, maybe they wasn't, maybe they wasn't financially stable and now he is, now he's ready or she, because it doesn't have to be a man, um, ready. And this connection is very powerful. I feel like, I feel like this is a, um. Not you guys are going to be a power couple, but it also feels like the attraction that you guys have is electric, like right. So you guys probably run into each other somewhere, like um, what do you call it? Like y'all be at the same place at the same time, like not planned out, but you guys just be you know hanging. <laughs> Kara said nothing. <laughs> it were yes, you know. <laughs> But you could just be hanging out somewhere. Um, like, y'all be at the same place or something. And it's like an electric power between you two. It'd be, and it makes you guys like such a power couple. I feel like not only are you going to reconcile with this person, but you guys are going to be really happy and um, really graceful and happy together. It's like you've been patiently waiting and doing the work. And I feel like I want to move this because I, I feel like you both have been doing work. I feel like he's been working on himself and I feel like you have to. I feel like both of you guys have been doing work. Internal work is what I mean. So maybe uh, working on your finances, working on, you know, focusing on yourself, focusing on, um, hey, Sharonda, focusing on, the things that you need to make you happy and whole as an individual, you know, becoming a whole vibe. I feel like you guys have been doing that. Just really just being in your elegance, patiently waiting, doing, you know, doing the work, but looking back and contemplating, you know, what you did wrong in the relationship. Where did, where did I go left or where did I go right? You know, and, and, and both of you guys have been doing it. <laughs> Yay. I love love when it comes like this. This is like good right here. Um, it's like we just been waiting for this to unfold, just waiting for this to bloom, and just waiting for you know, just sliding and gliding. You're like unbothered, like you guys both are just unbothered. Like, just, I'm gonna wait patiently and elegantly, I'm just gonna do my work, and when it's time, um, we'll come back together. And I feel like Mercury is saying it's time, it's time for y'all to be in love, it's time for y'all to be this power couple, it's time to. To reconcile, to remember the source of love, right? To, um, you know, take some actions that that's needed to begin this process. So, you know, do something loving, or he's gonna be doing something loving, or she, whatever. Your person, your person gonna be doing something loving. You could be doing something loving. Y'all gonna, y'all can't keep away from each other. It's electric. Y'all electric together. It's gonna be really, really hard <laughs> to. <laughs> not feel that right so it's like it's like a soul connection it's a powerful connection and you guys gonna get back together um 
And it's going to be so delightful. And it's going to be so different. It's going to be happy. It's going to be different because you guys are coming back together whole, right? You're coming back. Y'all done the work. So y'all coming back together whole and complete within itself. And so now you can share each other's happiness and you can um, create more happiness together and find your joy in the small things of being together. And I feel like y'all gonna make, you know, some money um, too. Like I feel like you guys are a power couple. I feel like y'all gonna come together and really have have it all, have this abundant family, have, you know, if it's, um, if you guys have a business together or y'all just both working with the same common goals to, you know, build your, your family, like a home, and you know stability and wealth you guys are gonna do that guy it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's gonna be all in love mercury's bringing you a boo that makes me so happy y'all i swear it does it makes me so happy and I feel like I feel like this person is gonna give you like butterflies too. Like it's gonna be and even though like you've been together before, it's it's new. You know what I mean? This is a new thing. Even though you've been together before, this is different. Cause y'all was connected before, but this time it's good. Because he's done the work and you have done the work. Your partner has done the work. You have done the work. And we were just talking about this last night at this witch's brew I had went to. My friend had did. And one of the ladies was explaining like what a lover is. A lover. And that's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are going to like find each other. And y'all going to be happy. And y'all going to be lovers. <laughs> it's a lot of pentacles down here. So pentacle, pentacle, pentacles. That's why I think it might have been financial. Maybe he didn't have no money or something. <laughs> or maybe you didn't have no money. Um, but now money is popping. Money is good. Money, the pentacles is here. The grounding is here. Or it could have just been, um, you know, not stable. Maybe it wasn't a stable relationship. It's going to be stable. It's lots of grounding, lots of coins, lots of earth. Um, he could, You could be a, a earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or um, was Taurus. Or he could be. A lot of a lot of um earth energy which lets me know that this relationship might not have been as grounded as it needed to be and that's probably why it didn't work so now it's going to be grounded now it's going to be more um more happy i feel like you guys will appreciate each other more because you've done the work and you're happy to be back together so go for it go for it all right that is Pick a card. One, two, and three. You guys are so, so awesome. I hope it resonates with you. I hope you really do get all the love and money that you deserve. Um, and then some, okay? Have a very, very safe and happy Halloween. Are there any questions? Lynn said there's nobody I want to go back to. <laughs> She about to hear but somebody. Hey, Avon. Yeah, I sing. I, I bust out this song all the time. Balance. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn's not trying to see no people, huh? Good, Lynn. Forgiveness starts with yourself. Hey, Elijah. Elijah over there making weapons he gonna change the world i love kids y'all when they doing great things these are some master geniuses out here they are changing the world okay guys i will see you next week for 
uh, pick a card. Love y'all. Peace out.